incredibly rude, the language on Muppet is just disgusting. Kosh, nice to meet you. Good to meet you. Too. Alex Cosper from PlaylistResearch.com. Well, that sounds impressive. Nice, cool, yeah. low chair. I was going to say, you're going to pull over. <laughs> <laughs> so you have so many awesome album covers. I, I understand that you designed about a thousand so, albums. Yeah, that's what I'm told. Someone's keeping me down. Okay. Yeah, yeah, just and some of those, just some of those are like Abbey Road, Hotel California, um, what, Let It Be, Let It Be, okay. So it started with Abbey Road, right? Yes, yeah, I was a hello youth at the time, and uh, I was working for the Royal Ballet and the Royal Opera. So I sort of snagged into it. I met John Lennon, and um, it just took off. Not a bad guy to meet. No, I was <laughs> going to say, my word, I always thought you know, everything to this bag. You know? Did you get to know him after that? Yeah. yeah. Until I left for the States, and then he was in New York, and I was in LA, and sort of drifting. Oh, okay. Got the occasional Christmas card, but he didn't remember. What, what were each of the Beatles' opinions on the Abbey Road cover? Of course, you picked what, what was already uh, photographed. There were 12 pictures. Yeah. yeah. Um, and we just we, we picked, we picked the ones that of Ian Millen, the late one, and I decided on this particular photograph was the best, even though Paul was out of step, which is one of those things that started all those rumors about his death, you know, yeah. um, the dog started in the 28th, and yeah. there was serendipity sort of clues. Which actually helped sell the album because we were instructed. I think it would have sold anyway. <laughs> I think so too, but we were instructed to not confirm or deny Paul's death. It's like, wait, well, it looks like I saw that in an interview of you on your website. Oh, I've done, I've done that one already. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's a good story. Though. So, what did they think of it? Oh, they were happy with it, of course. Yeah. You know, they sold 26 million in yeah. three weeks or whatever. Yeah. Um, you know, I mean, the only problem I had was, I, as you've heard me also say, is that um, I decided not to put the Beatles, word Beatles, or yeah. words Beatles on the cover because it seemed superfluous. You know? uh, that was the under, the underground era anyway, where everyone was trying to... Yeah, of, yeah, but I got into a lot of doo-doo with um, Sir Joseph Lockwood who phoned me up in the middle of the night with a string of inductors saying I'd sabotage the whole thing. Capital Records? It was what in England, it was EMI. EMI. Yeah, which was Capital, yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 So by now we're on the Apple label, but it was still under EMI. Sure. Sure. And then all of a sudden, it, um, you know, George was the one who said, don't worry about the Beatles. Yeah. They knew they were going to sell records. It was the best record they made. I, I thought it was the yeah. best produced record. Yeah, but well, I hear the whole thing was yeah. stunning. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm biased. <laughs> So then, Hotel California, I understand that ran into some legal problems because... Oh, Beverly Hills Hotel. Beverly Hills Hotel, man. Yeah. Was that a surprise to them that they were on that album? Well, yes, they, they, they were really, yeah, they, 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 I think they, they tried to sue, but um, someone did some research and Irving Lazer, the manager, managed to point out to them that they're, that they're uh, I think they tripled it. Your business is yes, way tri up. Triple. You didn't get, yes. have anything to do with that album cover. <laughs> <laughs> so we got out of there was another one where we didn't put the Eagles on the cover. Oh yeah, that's right. Off, you know, but it pulled that trick twice. Now. Okay, and that works. Worth it again. But you have to already be famous. Yes, well they they were the biggest band in the world. Yeah, that's right. right. In fact, I think they're the biggest American band of all time. From what I may well be. Yeah. There's there's Eagles and Aerosmith have each sold something like 150 million in America. So yeah, that's awesome. And of course, you've done several other album covers. Uh, is that something you keep on doing? No, you know something. It's like you know, I work with Jimmy Buffett now, and I do Linda Ronstadt, which is okay. her old pals. Yeah, which is great. I love her. Didn't she retire? Yeah, but she still sort of brings out compilations from the old and I love to decorate them. And because uh, I've got a host of wonderful pictures. Okay. I mean, I have a whole life history to it, you know, in the books. <laughs> So what what would you say is your most creative album cover? And I'm guessing it might be the ELO one. Well, it's, 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 they're so different. See, yeah. My style is I don't have a style. The ELO and the blue are definitely out there. Okay. You know, that was sort of, it's um, just a frisbee, right? Well, that's how it started. Because I was playing frisbee with my son, and I had a sticker on it, which was the logo. Mm -hmm. And that, that, you know, that was one of those serendipitous things. But if you go to Simple Dreams, which have got, got my rally, um, the lab was a lot of hard work, and that was planned meticulously with Jim Sherry, the photographer, down to the last detail. So, um, I, that's probably the most 
satisfying as far as it coming to a conclusion. Mm -hmm. It's like you've got an orchestra and you sort of conduct it and you just know it's going to work, but you're still scared. Yeah. <laughs> you never know what's going to happen. So, so uh, now you're doing, today you're doing this um, internet radio show, the delicious vinyl radio, right. and you're talking about your artwork. Is, is that your new phase? promoting your existing album Yes, film. but um, Susan, my partner, and I were also sort of, uh, sort of making documentaries and pictures and doing things as well, because I like moving things. Susie likes to work in features, and I really love to um, work uh, in documentaries. So between us, you know, okay. we've been sort of putting things together. We've been working with Lewis Black, the comedian, who's a real sort of artist. Any documentaries coming up? We well, yeah, if we can sell them. Okay. <laughs> you know, because the point is, you have to sort of, make, you have to make sizzle reels. Yeah. Which means you have to fork out a lot of money. Yeah. You have to look good and sound good, so you look 100% good. Sure. Um, so, one never knows. Okay. We've got a lot of strings. Yeah. So, um, we just keep plugging away and hoping something comes up. Alright, well. Mixing metaphors horribly here, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you've done many great album covers. I'm looking at them uh, here right now at this presentation. So you, you, you're going to make a presentation and talk about your album covers? I don't know. No, I'm just going to run around. So, oh. uh, uh, I'm going to check them out. Yeah. So let's see what you got here. So, what are you mate, talking about? That was cool. All Thank right. you so much. Thank you. I guess we should get out of the, get out of the control book. Yeah. Yeah. Like a print, yeah. but you don't have that relationship with the artist. Yeah.